It's the Atlanta Grubber Podcast with surefire restaurant reviews from throughout the Atlanta metropolitan area. Hosted by Joe Duffy, there is a special focus on his home chomping grounds of Alpharetta and Roswell. You can follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Atlanta Grubber and on atlantagrubber.com. Without further ado, here is your infallible restaurant whisperer, Joe Duffy. Here it is, episode two of the Atlanta Grubber Restaurant Podcast. I'm going to stay a little closer to my home chomping grounds and feature Mitch's Meats and Fish on this episode, but we're also going to head out to Buford Highway, West Atlanta, Marietta, or as, of course, we Southerners like to call it, Mayretta, and even some more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Atlanta Grubber, and we are brought to you in no small part by Duffy Sense. That's S C E N T S, DuffySense.com. Great fragrances for the house, office, bathroom, laundry room, and more. Now, let me tell you about Mitch's Meats. He's at 30 East Crossville Road, Suite 160 in Roswell, right near the Middling Slopes Barbecue. Now, I first met Mitch at a live after five. He was there even before his shop opened up, and he was giving out great free samples of sausage and some other things, and they were tremendous. So I put him on my radar screen, got his business card. He had a Facebook page at the time, followed it. When he opened, he shortly thereafter added some soup and then sandwiches. The first several times I went, it was just Mitch and one employee. So didn't have to wait in much lines, but word spread very quickly. Mitch got love from everybody. I mean, everybody. Now when I go to Mitch's, he's got three or four people working up front and another four or so people in the kitchen. Now, in addition to having great soup and sandwiches, he's also a very high-end butcher and fishmonger. Includes Australian Wagyu ribeye, skirt steak, a 100% A5 grade Japanese Wagyu, Kobe a beef ribeye, a New York strip steak, homemade sausages. He's got Mitch's bacon, Springer Mountain chicken, which is the best chicken you can get in a long list of great foods. But... What I love the most is his pre-made soups and you got made-to-order sandwiches. Look, the sandwiches, they're served on Mitch's homemade bread. What is my favorite? I love a lot of them. Probably my single favorite is the scallop. You can get grouper, halibut, salmon, snapper. It's on a pick-your-own-fish-out-of-the-case sandwich. He also has thin-cut roast beef beef and corned beef. The thin cut corned beef is very good. It's served with a homemade creamy sweet onion and bacon dressing. Look, get out of your comfort zone. If you're from New York and you're probably saying, I'm used to my corned beef or my pastrami on a Reuben, or maybe you like it with Russian dressing and coleslaw, perhaps spicy mustard. This is a great combination. Mitch has definitely found some complimentary ingredients. He makes his own dressings and his sauces. Get out of that comfort zone. Definitely try the corned beef, which is one of his better sandwiches. Fantastic pastrami sandwich as well. He's got something called the Penstone Cheesesteak. Now, this isn't really a Philadelphia cheesesteak type thing. It's got high-end steak and cheese with beef tenderloin. Love the roasted tomatoes he puts on many sandwiches, including this sandwich and also the roast beef sandwich. Caesar salad. Oh, I definitely got to talk about the Caesar salad. It is the favorite of my wife and my youngest son. Caesar salad. Ah! At Du Brute? Nope. Now, we're not necessarily globe trotters when we do our traveling, but the Duffy family's done a decent amount. And of course, anytime I go to a city, what's my top priority? I'm finding the best restaurants. And Caesar salad's just what my wife loves. This includes chicken Caesar, or sometimes if she gets a dish, she's always going to order it with a uh, salad as long as that's offered. And the only other place, and I agree with her, in fact, the entire Duffy family agrees, Luminaldi's in Chicago, the only place in the world that has Caesar salad dressing as good as Mitch's. Yeah, Mitch makes this dressing and all his other dressings and sauces in-house. Plus, he uses... Springer Mountain Chicken. And my wife, she's you know, a little bit uh, plain. She prefers to get it grilled, but you can get it smoked and some spiced and a couple other flavors of chicken. So you get to pick it when you get it. But again, there is not a better chicken Caesar salad anywhere. 
and you're going to have a hard time finding better Caesar salad dressing. This side of the Windy City. Yeah, every time I walk in the Mitch's, it's sandwich day. But I love something even more than the sandwiches, and that is the soups. I've had, and I'm not exaggerating, folks, literally about 75 different soups. What are my favorites? It's even tougher than picking my favorite Sam Mitch. Uh, probably the many versions of his seafood chowder. He has what is essentially a New England version. A Manhattan version is also very good. Then the New England version with saffron, which maybe I even like more than the New England, but, you know, I can see the more traditional New England style is going to be popular. A lot of Americans don't seem to like saffron for whatever reason, but again, try it. If you think you don't like saffron, once you try Mitch's, you will love it. He also has another one with lobster broth, which I guess loosely resembles kind of a Rhode Island chowder, um, an Asian seafood soup, which he didn't call a chowder. So whatever version of seafood soup he has that day, make sure you get it. He's got a three sausage with pecorino cheese, maybe sort of favors like, you know, like a sausage chili, I think you could probably call it. Oh, speaking of chili, he does a tremendous traditional chili. You a vegetarian? His cauliflower soup is probably as good as any vegetarian soup that I've ever had. At least, you know, certainly in the, the top three or four. It's dairy-free, and the reason I mention that is because it's hard to believe. It's very silky smooth, but Mitch emphasizes there are no dairy products in it. And even some of my favorite soups, he's only had occasionally. I've only seen it, and as many times as I've been to Mitch's, maybe... 150 times, 200 times. I've only seen some of these once. A lamb ragu was ridiculous. One of the best things I've had. Again, that might be my favorite as far as that I've ever had. I mentioned the chowders because he has some version of a seafood soup virtually every single day. A steak barbecue, which resembled a Texas chili. He's had a pork barbecue soup. He does a few different versions of Jewish penicillin. That means a chicken soup. Probably my favorite would be the chicken with orzo. There's another question you got to ask Mitch. You got any biscuits for sale in there? He's a chef, he's a butcher, and he's also a baker. I don't know about a candlestick maker, but his biscuits are large and they are extremely tasty. Now, Mitch makes a traditional gravy with it, but at the Roswell East Roswell Food and Beverage Festival, holy, oh my lord, he made this seafood gravy that was beyond incredible. There is no question the best biscuits and gravy I've ever had were Mitch's when he makes that seafood gravy. Now look, here's the conclusion. Mitch's is the single best place for soup. This is in both quality and quantity. And yes, I do love Super Jenny. And maybe you could say that Super Jenny is at a little bit of disadvantage because she likes to mix in some very healthy stuff. And we'll probably talk about Super Jenny a lot more in future episodes. So, you know, we're big fans of hers. And quite frankly, I know Super Jenny is a wonderful person. She contributes and donates a lot of food to some great causes. And especially since she opened in my home chomping grounds of Roswell, I know she donates food to the Star House, which is a wonderful organization, the official charity of the Atlanta Grubber, and I'm going to talk about them a little bit more in just one moment. But when it comes to flavor, nobody can top Mitch with the soups. It's flavor. It's my man Mitch. I Plus those great sandwiches, the best chicken Caesar salad in the world, everything you need. Look, if you're a home chef, he's got the highest quality proteins when it comes to meats and fish. And like I said, lunch. My goodness, you will never, ever find anyone who does soups better in both quality and quantity. And there's a sandwich for everyone. If you can't find a sandwich you like there, that's on you, yo. Our popular sound bites coming up. DuffyGifts.com offers the finest My 31 gifts, such as purses, jewelry, organizers, storage bins, and so much more. These gifts are perfect for graduates, weddings, and any occasion, whether it's for him or for her. For the most thoughtful gifts, check out Stephanie Duffy at DuffyGifts.com. Now to sound bites with news, notes, and quick hitters on Atlanta area restaurants. You know, a food terminal at 5000 Buford Highway, it's mostly a Malaysian restaurant, but other kinds of Asian food, it's spectacular. Everything you heard about it is true. My wife was in the area running some errands, and 
She said, what do you want me to pick up in that area? And there was no question. I wanted food terminal. I wanted to see if it was every bit as good as people said. You know, I could probably go. I ordered some stuff online. I could probably go and see exactly what I ordered. But the truth is, it doesn't really matter. I did what I usually do. Got a variety. Got one, you know, at least one meat, a seafood, a spicy dish, a mild dish. I think I got like five or six. And it only took me three meals to finish it. I've got a big appetite. I'm a growing boy. And the bottom line is everything thing was great. So you might say, what do you order? Everything I heard was corroborated by my own experience. I don't think you could go wrong at this place. Food Terminal, without any question, among the greatest restaurants in all of Atlanta and perhaps the best place on Buford Highway. Do you like the Atlanta Grubber Restaurant Podcast? Well, if you do, show your support. Please be generous to my preferred charity, the Starhouse Foundation at starhousefoundation.org. I was in my uh, third or fourth, I believe it was my fourth year of volunteering there and the plague hit, and I definitely plan on returning when the world returns to normal. But the Starhouse Foundation is an after-school program. We help at-risk kids with their academics. They don't have much support at home where they can help them with their homework. The Starhouse Foundation believes that every child deserves a chance, and my motto is every child is capable of greatness. Some kids need more help than others. And these kids at the Star House, they want to learn, but they definitely need your help. I would appreciate it if you would visit starhousefoundation.org, read more about them, see the many ways that you can help give these at-risk kids a chance at a great education. The greatest equalizer is getting a good education, and the Star House Foundation does just that. Again, starhousefoundation.org.